Question seven. So it says we need to create an exponential model. So that means it's going to look something like this. And it's going to be e to something that involves t. Because think about t varying. Right. What do we know? Well, when t is zero, the value is 20,000. So that means at the start. So if you imagine zero going in here, well, anything to the power of zero is one. So therefore, a has to be 20,000. So let's fill out where we are. So we know one, two, three, e. There we go. Now we need to work out what this k thing is. All right, so let's try and work out what that is. Well, when t is one, we know the answer is 16,000. So let's piece all of that in. If we've got one there, well, obviously that's going to just be e to the k, isn't it? So in other words, 16,000 plus 20,000 e to the k. And that will now allow us to work out what k is. Divide by 20,000. And that's going to give us four-fifths. This divided by this is four-fifths, e to the k. Lun both sides, and you'll end up with that k bit is lun four-fifths. So now we can rewrite it where we've got to. So one, two, three, 20,000. And we've got e. And then we've got lun four-fifths. Whoops, oh, I don't like that. Sorry, I'm just going to, have to write that bit again. One, two, three, e, lun, four, fifths. And don't forget, we've got to multiply that by t. Probably be easier to write the t at the beginning. Right, now let's have a look at part b. It says the value of car a is monitored over a 10-year period. The value after 10 years is £2,000. So in other words, t is 10. So all we've got to do now is substitute t is 10 into this. And if you do that, literally just put a 10 just there, just sub, and then just pop that into your calculator. Um, and that's going to give you, if you work that out, it's going to give you 2,147. So compare this with this. I think that's a pretty good model, isn't it? Okay, it's not too far out. Yes, there's a question about, like, you know, it doesn't give the exact answer. We're not expecting to get the exact answer, but we're expecting to get pretty close. Right, let's have a look at part C. So the following information is available for car B. It has the same value when you as car A, right? OK, so so in other words, that this this figure here, this 20,000 will remain the same in the model. Its value depreciates more slowly. So if it's going to depreciate more slowly, then we need to think about what's going to happen here. Because this is the bit that's going to make a difference. And that value would be closer to zero. So maybe if we just write closer to zero. Because it's going to depreciate less. It's got to go less, closer to zero.